Greetings, everyone. Dr. Melanie Kreitz here with the Center for Men's and Women's Urology and 360 Pelvic Health Institute coming to you with another segment. And you know, we get a lot of questions about recurrent urinary tract infections. And I had a special request um, to actually speak about the presence of bacteria in the urine that actually doesn't cause a urinary tract infection. So what is that? Well, it goes by several different names. In our world, we call it colonization or asymptomatic bacteria. And those are just technical terms that mean the presence of bacteria. Um, when somebody is colonized, it means that they have the presence of bacteria always, meaning that any time we would collect a urine sample for culture, it would always come back positive. Now, just because it comes back positive doesn't mean that it needs to be treated. For instance, we treat urinary tract infections because they cause fevers and chills and burning and low back pain and low abdominal pain and things like that. But when you have the presence of bacteria and you're colonized, that means you have bacteria, but you're coexisting with the bacteria and it's not causing you a problem. So the guidelines are we don't treat that because we all live with bacteria. Think about your skin, think about your nose, and, and anything that you would culture on your body, um, it will have the presence of bacteria. There are normal bacteria that live on the skin and in the body tissues. It, we don't typically see urine uh, with bacteria in it. Um, except in particular circumstances. And those are generally those patients whose bodies just for whatever reason decided that bacteria could make a home in the urine and that bacteria doesn't cause a problem. So as long as it's not causing a problem, we don't treat it. Um, now certainly if it does start overgrowing and causing a problem, then that's when we would treat it. And we would do things to keep that bacteria at bay. So sometimes when patients are colonized and they have the presence of bacteria in the urine, but they also suffer from recurrent urinary tract infections, meaning that bacteria frequently causes a problem, then we might do things like put antibiotic solution into the bladder or uh, a nice healing solution into the bladder to settle down inflammation so that then that patient can coexist with that bacteria in harmony again. So I hope this helps. I hope it explains a little bit about when we treat uh, uh, bacteria in the urine and when we don't treat bacteria in, a, in the urine. Remember, it's not a urinary tract infection unless you're having symptoms. So having said that, uh, I hope this helps everyone. And as always, send in your questions. We really enjoy answering those. And again, as always, thanks for letting 360 Pelvic Health Institute help restore your confidence. <music>